100 years ago, the Wright brothers launched the Aviation Age with the first control-powered aircraft at Kitty Hawk. Since then, the journey has continued with World War I and II catapulting nations to develop and utilize air power for military tactics. As the U.S. and other industrialized nations refined air power, soon thereafter emerged the industry we now know as aerospace. The past 100 years have brought exponential growth in power and technology throughout the aerospace industry, leading to higher customer expectations. In a world economy, customers demand excellence in quality, cost, and delivery. To meet or exceed the expectations of today's customers, continuous process improvement and education are a must. A lean manufacturing movement is making its way through the aerospace industry, prompting higher standards to answer customer demands. At the core of this lean movement is education, education for today's employees and for those of tomorrow, and implementation of lean concepts into college curriculum will arm our workforce with the ultimate form of power, knowledge. The pilot program is, is a bold experiment. Um, within the Lean Aerospace Initiative, uh, we have an academic uh, focus organization that is really a, a structure of uh, graduate schools uh, like MIT and Stanford and Georgia Tech, and then the primary uh, engineering schools that provide us with a lot of our uh, new employees. Uh, of course, here in Indiana, that would be Purdue, uh, as well as Ohio State and Michigan and Illinois and a number of the other schools in the, in the region. Uh, but uh, that duplicated around the country. But one thing we know is that uh, the, the practice and the principles of lean have not found their way into the undergraduate curriculum. So when we hire a new employee, we have really the need to do remedial training. And in fact, here we've, we've trained over 100 Rolls-Royce employees in lean techniques um, uh, after they've joined. So this lean academy is a strategy that we're piloting here this year and then we're very hopeful if it's successful that it will be then used at Boeing and Lockheed and Northrop Grumman and any place else in the industry next year uh, based on the success of this year's activities. Approximately 25 co-op students and interns at Rolls-Royce Corporation participated in the Lean Summer Academy where they learned about the origins of lean, lean vocabulary and principles, and the Lean Aerospace Initiative. The week began with a tour of the manufacturing facility where the students were able to see firsthand how lean principles such as kitting and factory design and layout are being implemented at Rolls-Royce. Throughout the rest of the week, combinations of teaching methods were utilized to keep students engaged, such as classroom-style discussions with interactive dialogue between students and the lecturer, games, interviews between students and Rolls-Royce employees, and videos. It's no surprise that for some, the preeminent part of the week was the Lego game. Starting with a 38-piece Lego airplane, the students ordered parts and assembled airplanes during several rounds of the game. During each round, improvements were made as the students applied the lean principles introduced during the lectures. They started out producing one to two Lego planes during the first round and ended the day producing eight to ten. Probably my most enjoyable uh, activity of the week was uh, when, it, when we got to do the activity which involved using Legos, everybody's grown up using Legos and it was, it was kind of neat to see how something as simple as, as, a, as a toy for kids can be applied to the lean activities that we've learned um, through reducing steps, through making, using less parts. It was just, it just baffled my mind that something as simple as, as the Lego could, could teach you so much, being that you've, you've grown up playing with them and you can really actually apply it to the real life, real world situations. The students were able to see firsthand what a difference the factory environment makes on employee morale and productivity. Going from dimly lighted, drab conditions into well-lighted, freshly painted areas of the factory helped the students to see what kinds of lean factory improvements are underway at Rolls-Royce. They also saw and heard about the ultimate result of being lean, the tearing down of unused parts of the factory. Other information the students learned were things such as how people are at the heart of Lean and how the fundamentals of integrated product teams, effective teamwork, communication, and negotiation skills are key to a successful Lean environment. They also discussed how Lean must be applied to the entire enterprise to achieve its full potential, not just in manufacturing. 
Lean Academy students were introduced to the LAI Lean Enterprise toolset and challenged to think about the enterprise level during their summer internships and beyond in their careers. Students were given an organizational view as to how lean activities fit within the organizational structure, an overview of the benchmarking process, and a review of Kaizen events. In addition, they discussed various analytical tools used to improve existing products or processes and learned about the first steps in the Six Sigma process. They were also briefed on the high leverage that upfront engineering design has in reducing costs of development, production, and product support, and the importance of adding value to our products through the supply chain. Near the end of the week, with their newfound knowledge of Lean Enterprise principles and vernacular, the Lean Academy students interviewed Rolls-Royce employees working on active Lean projects. MIT, Purdue University, and Rolls-Royce piloted the Lean Summer Academy in hopes that similar programs would be instituted throughout the aerospace industry, colleges, and universities. The program's value is best summarized by two of the students and Earl Merman of MIT. Within the aerospace industry, as we've been taught, there's a lot of room for improvement, especially since the aerospace industry at present is being challenged, and there will be new challenges uh, within the future. Uh, the Lean Summer Academy uh, even being taught to interns and uh, persons uh, who on staff who are being taught it uh, can use it, implementing it in their processes, and the aerospace industry can go really far with uh, a Lean program like this. I was never exposed to any lean practices or I never even had actually heard of it and before I came here at Rolls-Royce and um, sitting through it for one week I've learned more than I've learned at any course in my actual IEPUI classes. I know now that in one week in, a, in an environment like this we can uh, bring uh, an undergraduate to a state of, of uh, productive readiness and understanding lean and I think that's a very powerful thing.